everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today is our Christmas countdown day 15. So let's see what I have for you. Let's get started. Okay, so for this Manny, I'll be using Amal, Honor, I'll be using my new Leopard Spot Topper, and then I'll be using Anchor Base Coat and um, the, oh, this one's Naked Manicure Base. <laughs> I'm going to use the Naked Manicure Shiny Top Coat. Here we go. Got the right one now. Okay, so first I'll be applying my base coat. And then when that's dry, we'll come back and do the color. To put some liquid latex on because I'm going to do something. I'm going to surprise you guys. So I'm going to put this liquid latex on and then I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm not going to tell you. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little piece of makeup sponge and the surprise is I'm going to do a gradient because you guys like really have never seen me do this before. I think maybe I did it once. Like, I don't even know how many years ago. Me too. So here we go. Wish me luck. Let's see. I'm going to try to figure out what color I want on the top and what color I want on the bottom. That'd be a good idea or I'll get like a surprise. All right. So here we go. All right. Go with red up here. And then the green down there. Okay. Right. Let's see if I can get this, get you guys a picture of this. Uh, so. Not bad, not bad. I think I did pretty good. What do you guys think? Yeah. All right. I'm pumped now. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you guys see another one. I'm not going to do my thumb on camera because the, the angle is just way too hard. But I am going to um sponge my thumb. All right, here we go again. Yeah, loving that, loving it, loving it, loving it. Okay, <laughs> so now on um, my pointer finger and my pinky finger, I'm just going to go in with the plain red. Because I do kind of like a, a mix and match and get some solid stuff in there. Of course, I screwed up my cuticle, so I'll just fix that. And then I will be back when this coat dries. Okay, so I'm going to go with the um, second coat of um, the gradient. You know, I do have to say, this stuff dries pretty good. I mean, like, pretty easy. Even when you just put it, like, you know, one coat on a nail. Obviously, gradients, um, they dry way faster because you're doing a super light coat. But, um... Yeah, I, 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 this polish just dries really nice. So I'm kind of happy about that because who doesn't love a fast drying polish? If there's anything I can't stand is waiting for your nail polish to dry. And then thinking it's dry, okay, and so then you go to bed and you wake up and it's like, okay, time to take off my mani because it looks like crap. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Now I am going to put on the second coat of the red and I just I love the way this looks it is so amazing you know matte or glossy this is just I fell in love with this collection I'm so glad that they still have it so I can show you guys a polish that you can actually get still so all right so I'm gonna wait around for this to dry and then we'll come back 
Okay, so now the moment you've been waiting for, we're going to play with the leopard. Um, now, I've watched a ton of videos. I have been practicing like crazy on some um, practice nails here. Um, in some cases, I got the spots to turn out really good. Um, here's one on this side right here where they came out perfectly round. That was really cool. And I also really like how um, this one turned out too. Um, this one, it did have more of a bumpy texture. So I think if you have more of a bumpy texture, you're going to probably get them to be more round. Um, so I was trying, you know, kind of playing with if I wanted to put gold underneath it to see if that would um, make it, obviously it did make it more bumpy and so therefore it did, um, it did make them more round. But I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm just going to wing it here. I don't want to put any gold on there, I don't think. I just, I really want to just do this. So, we're going to try it out. All right. So, now, in my very last um, test, like right here, this one, what I did was I took, yeah, you don't want to get too thin. If you get too thin, this is what's going to happen. You're going to have like a smearing of black. And that's not really attractive at all. Um, so you, you kind of want to get it not too thick, not too thin. If you get it too thick, you're not going to get it, um, you're not going to get the little round spots that you want. Actually, this looks really good over here. Um, this one I kind of like had this thinner spot and then went over it again and again. So that one's actually not too bad. But this is like a couple of different. Things. All right, we're going to wing it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush it like this. I'm going to tap it and then brush it all off one side. And then I'm going to apply it like with a firm hand, you know, on my nail. So let's just hope that this comes out right. Because, you know, I'm using real nail polish. I can't just wipe this stuff off. If I was using a gel polish, I could just take acetone and wipe off the top and start over and over and over until it came out with something I like. But I'm not. I'm using regular polish for you guys. So, oh, all right. All right. Here we go. What? I'm done practicing. I just want to get this mani done. I think I've been practicing for like over an hour today. So... All right, we'll see what happens. I'm just speeding this up for you so you can don't have to sit there and wait for it. It doesn't take very long. Let's do this other one. The the more the longer you leave it on there and it dries, the um it just keeps crackling. Okay, that one I did more of a a um heavier things. We'll see what that one looks like. So here again, I will speed up the drying time a little. Well, I'm speeding up the video a little bit. Can't speed up the drying time at all. This one's not bad except for that big blob right there. Probably because I like put way too much on it. But actually it's working out pretty good. And I'm going to try to fix this one up a little by putting a little bit more on there. And this one, I think I can touch up this big blob. Of course, kind of wipe the nail polish off underneath it. But that's okay, because we, we can touch that up too. We'll just put a little bit of nail polish with a little teeny brush. So a teeny bit of green just to poke in there. There. 
eyes. It's not looking too bad, really. Here's the other one. Let me touch up right in the middle there. All right, I kind of like it. This one like looks like really small little leopard spots. So that one's pretty cool. This one actually like way overdid it. So this one, but this one's like, you know, this part looked really good. It was just that one blob there looked bad. And then this one had a couple of big blobs on it, but I'm, oops, sorry. <laughs> All right, well, this one had a couple of, like big blobs on it, but you know, hey, it's fixable. All right, so I'm going to just kind of wait for this to completely dry down and then we'll put a top coat on. So my thoughts on this is I love it. Um, it was made for pixie dust. However, oh my gosh, pixie dust. I'm really not into the textured nail polishes and pixie dust is like insanely textured. Um, anyways, but I will do, I think I do have one pixie dust because I love the color. And if I remember right, it was not such a heavy, um, a heavy texture. So I'm going to be doing it on that one. Um, probably next month. And I will definitely be using this again. And, you know, you can do it over any glitter um, nail polish and it'll look great. I was kind of toying with the fact of actually putting um, hollow over the top of this because um, hollow would be slightly textured. Um, but I just didn't do it this time. But, you know, I might do it in the future. So um, that would be pretty awesome. And I really, really love this stuff. Okay, I think... I think we have enough drying time here. So, yeah, it feels dry. Okay, so now I'm going to put the um, Naked Manicure Glossy Seal on because as much as I do love a good matte, you know, I'm just, I don't, you know, I'm really into this color when it's glossy because you can just see all of the, you know, the glittery goodness. You know, this has glittery goodness. Look how beautiful that is when it's wet. You know, oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. Anyways, I want the other nails to be gorgeous too. So I'm going to glossy them up. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful that's looking. So I'm going to do that on all of my nails and sit and wait, wait, wait <laughs> until it dries. And uh, I love this look. I really love it. And I do love it with the shiny top coat over especially. So um, with the with the um, leopard, you can use a shiny top coat or you can use a um, matte top coat. But I'm seeing this is kind of drying down a little bit. So I'm thinking it's lumpy enough that it's probably going to need two top coats. So let's see what, what it looks like when it's dry. And I'll come back and show you guys. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to need another coat of top coat. So I'm going in with another top coat. I'm just going to do it to all of my nails because... I'm like obsessed with shiny nails. It's kind of like shiny Rudolph's nose here. Um, anyway. Yeah, this one's really bumpy. So it takes up a lot of top coat. So I'm going to finish that off and let it dry because it looks better when it's, I don't know, to me, I like it better when it is smooth. I just love how that looks when it's oh, all nice and smooth. Really cool. Okay, so this still looks really, really textured. So I'm going to use my um, Sash Vite here. It is a quick dry top coat, but it's super thick. And I am going to put a nice amount on there to hopefully smooth that out. Okay, so it shouldn't take too much longer um, for that to dry. I already did it on my thumb to test it out because I don't want to be putting like a thousand coats of top coat on this waiting, waiting, waiting. Um, seems to be doing good though. So I should get some good results from that. 
And while I'm waiting for that to dry, I don't see any reason why I can't peel this off. You know, maybe I shouldn't, because what if it gets in there? Well, I'm living dangerously here. I should probably wait until it dries, but oh, good job. All right, I just have a little bit of cleanup, which I uh, will do with a, um, I like to use a corrector pen. So I'll just do that with a corrector pen and then I will come back when it's all ready. Okay, so here is the finished look. Not bad. I actually, I really love it. <laughs> I hope you guys do too. If you like the video, um, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.